Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In today's video, we're going to be using our 2018 to 2020 in colors, plus a brand new bundle in our new catalog called Varied Vases. So the bundle includes both of these products. When you purchase bundles from Stampin' Up, you get a 10% discount. Our in color ink pads are available right now. I'll put the item code right here on the screen. So you can purchase our brand new ink pads in colors in the bundle. If you prefer, you do get a little bit of a discount um, purchasing our ink pads in a bundle also. So we're gonna go ahead and make a card just like this, but we're gonna be using our other in color, the blueberry bushel. Uh, these are the lovely lipstick, the Call Me Clover, Grapefruit Grove, and Pineapple Punch. And so when I'm done, I'll have five of these in color cards. All right, let's get to our card. Uh, we're going to be making our card in blueberry bushel. So we need a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of blueberry bushel card stock, a five by three and three quarters piece of blueberry bushel card stock, four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White for the inside. You will also need a black, basic black scallop cut with our layering ovals framelits. This is the largest uh, scallop framelit in that set. We also need a stitched oval from the stitched shapes framelits. And this is also the largest stitched shape oval. And the last thing we need is just a scrap of Whisper White for a little stamping. All right, I'm going to bring in my blueberry bushel card or ink pad, excuse me, and my Memento Black. I've got a couple of the stamps already mounted. I did want to show you how I do mount some of my stamps so that um, if you are interested in knowing that. So within the stamp set, there are it's photopolymer stamps. And a lot of these images are kind of long, skinny images. And we're going to be using this one on the card today. So I'm going to peel it off the sheet. I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet and then I have a clear block. And I'm just going to, I like to lay my photopolymer stamps on my silicone mat so that they can regain their shape. So sometimes if you pull it off the sheet, it might get stretchy, it might get curved. So I let it sit there, let it regain its shape, and then I just come over the top of it with my block, and that's how I pick it up. And that way, if I had a die cut that went along with this image, everything would be lined up perfectly and the die cut would crop just the way I need it to. We're going to start using the thanks, little thanks stamp that comes in this set. And I'm just going to stamp it down here at the bottom of the oval. Like that. Close up my ink pad so I don't make a mess. And then I'm going to bring in my blueberry bushel. Slide that open. And, oops, I guess I need my black again. Ink up this medium-sized vase in the Memento Black. And we'll just stamp that right here. Like so. I'm also stamping it on the scrap. And then we're going to come in with the Blueberry Bushel ink pad. And we're going to stamp off once. Oh, I don't need it on that. We're going to stamp it on the scrap here. Just like that. I'm going to bring in my vase punch. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm just going to slide my piece of cardstock into the spot. And you can see it lines up just perfectly. Pop that out. And then I'm going to end up layering this on top of that one. But I do need to stamp my little flower grouping first. So I have my flower grouping here. And now I don't need the whole stem because if I did the whole stem, it would obviously um, go down below the bottom of the vase. So I'm just going to ink up most of the stem. Make sure I get the top of the flowers also. I'm just going to hover that over the vase because I can see through my stamp so I can see that my stem is going to go right down into the vase, just like so. I've got this little over stamping image. And these are the little bold flowers that are going to go into that. So I'm going to stamp it off one time. And then I'm just going to come down straight on top of it. 
and get that inked up. Isn't that just adorable? I just love how these stamps go together. All right, so the vase that we have here, we're going to add it to the card with some dimensionals. So I need a large dimensional for the base of the vase and then a mini dimensional for the neck. Oops. Tried to get away from me there. I'm going to press my fingernail into the dimensionals to peel the backings off. We'll come back in and we'll just add this right over the top of this face that we already stamped. I basically stamped that one onto the um, oval just for as a guide so I'd know where to stamp everything else. So that piece is done. We're going to add it to this scallop oval with three dimensionals. And I am purposely putting them on like this. So I want two close to the top, one near the bottom. Peel the backings off. We're going to layer this onto the scallop oval here, like so. And let's see, I don't need the black ink right at this moment. I'm going to put my stamps up here so I don't end up sticking my hands in them. And now I'm going to bring in my uh, card layer here. So this is going to go onto the card like so. But I just want to add a little bit of detail to this panel. It was a little bit plain to me. So I have one of the tiny flowers in the set. Bring in a scratch paper here. So I'm going to lay this where I want it. And then I'm going to stamp these. So I want this to be about like that. And then a couple more on the edges. So that's going to go there. So my next ones I'm going to put up. And I want it to be about like so. So I just kind of use my vase layer as a guide of where I'm going to end up putting all these little flowers. And then when I put my piece back on, and whoops, that one didn't quite get where I want it. So we are going to do that one again. And I overstamped that, but it doesn't make any difference because I'm going to cover that up when I put my main layer on, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to bring in some liquid glue. Just go ahead and add that all over the oval. And then we're going to place that where we wanted it, covering up our little mistake that we have up there. All right, so we're going to bring in the blueberry bushel ribbon. This is 8th inch grow grain ribbon, and I'm going to show you how they always come with these little plastic um, pieces around there to keep the ribbon on the roll. Well, they're hard to get off sometimes, so what I do is I kind of press. I try to force the plastic piece. You can kind of see how that's bowed up there and then I can just slide my pair of scissors under and get that off and toss the rest in the trash. So we're going to bring in, um, I like to tie my ribbons so that they're tight and so I'm going to bring in a bottle of our Stampin' Mist. This is an empty bottle. I just keep it to, for the specific purpose. And I'm just going to reel out some of the ribbon and then I'm going to try to tie myself a little knot here. think that will work. Pull that off the bottle. Manipulate it a little bit until it kind of looks the way I want it to. And then we will trim that off with a pair of scissors. And trim this end off too. All right, bring this back in. And we're going to lay this where we, I think I want my knot to be about right here. And I'll pull the rest of the ribbon over so I can snip some off. And then because of the way I placed my dimensionals, this piece of ribbon is just going to slide right through. And then I can attach it to the back. I think about right there is where I want it. Add some scotch tape to the back. This piece pulled across, fold it back, add it with a piece of tape, and then we can finish trimming these just the way we want them, like so. Bring in my card base here, 
go ahead and add this to the card base with some dimensionals. We're going to use five, one in each corner and one in the middle. Press your nail into those. Okay, we'll just add this to the front of our card, like so. And then we've got the inside to decorate, so we've got our white panel here. And I thought it would just be kind of fun just to bring these little flowers in right here, a little bit off the page maybe, kind of like so, bring in the whole collection here is the over stamp. We're going to stamp it off once and then we'll get that and then that can just go on the inside of the card. A little bit of liquid glue. Line it up on all three sides, the two sides and the bottom. That way if it's not cut perfectly uh, when someone opens your card, they're not going to know. So I never try to line it up on all four sides. Just those three is all I do. Okay. So here is our finished card along with all of the other cards. Here we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I always appreciate that. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel right down here if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. I try to upload a couple a week. And again, let me know if you're interested in joining my color club. You can send me an email, barb at barbstamps.com. And shoppingwithbarb.com is where you're going to get your Stampin' Up! supplies. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.